one name is Short Fat Fanny. One day when I was drinking in the Heartbreak Hotel, that's where I met Fanny, and she sure looks well. She told me that she loved me, she'd never leave me. She put her arms around me and uh, gave me fever. She mind to the truth, I love that girl so. To the rescue Short fat fanny She's my heart's design Got the kind of love That set my soul on fire Funny we got carried on Blueberry Hill And now we so happy And I love it Talking to Levon Helm, uh, you just played a song for us, and it's not on. This is your uh, this is your new CD that's out right now, Jericho. Yes, sir. And the song you played is not is not on this. What was that song you just played? Uh, that's an old tune that we used to play back in the days of Ronnie Hawkins and the Hawks. That's a guy that you used to play with. That's where you met a lot of the members of the band, right? That's right. Uh, Ronnie and I left Arkansas together in about '58 and headed north to Canada. And, uh, and he was a real in. character. <laughs> he still is. Yeah. 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 And you met a lot of the other guys there playing with them. That's right. Uh, as uh, fellow Arkansasers would leave the group and go back home, uh, we'd pick up Canadian boys, and here we go. <laughs> well, it worked out all right. Pretty good, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, you were real. I I'm a big fan of rockabilly, and you were real influenced by rockabilly. That's right. Is that right? That's right. I grew up uh, right there in the Memphis, West Memphis, Arkansas area, so I had a chance to see Carl Perkins uh, with W.S. Holland on drums. Uh -huh. and, uh, Elvis after he added DJ Fontana. Now you saw Elvis before he had uh, before he had no drums at the time you first saw him. Is that right? That's right. Elvis came to Helena with uh, just uh, Bill Black and mm -hmm. Scotty Moore. Then he came back to Mariana, Arkansas, a couple of a little bit later, and had DJ Fontana on drums. Was he different when he had uh, when he had a drummer? Had he changed? Yeah, it was just uh, a little bit more rocking uh, with the drums in there. It uh, set Elvis up, you know. Yeah, now you started You started out as a, uh, you didn't start out on the drums, you started out on the guitar, is that right? Well, I, I, I did after I uh, could afford to get one. I started out doing the ham bone, you know, and... Uh, <laughs> that's was, a cheap instrument. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just... Uh-huh. And I managed to get a guitar later on, and... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good job. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and, and you started out, now what made you uh, want to switch? Why did you decide... I think uh, the opportunity to play for dancers and uh, get paid for it. Uh, they already had a good guitar player. So, so drums was the way to go. That's right. Now, you, uh, you started out, 
I, I read this in a review. Uh, this is a, it was actually a section of your book, and there's a, there was a Rolling Stone review about you, and, and they said that uh, you were the only drummer that uh, made this reviewer cry. You had a real... Why do you, you know, what do you think it is? It's about your, oh, your, yeah, well, no, I remember, <laughs> for good reasons. Yeah, well, good. <laughs> uh, but, I, but it's, uh, it's about your voice, too. Your, you know, a lot of the, the songs that you sing, your voice has a real sadness to it. People commented on that a lot? Well, not, not a whole lot. Uh, it makes me cry on occasion, but <laughs> just, you know, go, go to the end. Uh, I'm, I'm not a, I'm not a vocalist. Um, I do it, uh, I used to do it to give Ronnie a break, you know, just to kind of, rest his voice and uh, I've just uh, done it more and more. You don't ago. consider yourself a vocalist really? Not really. I, I'm better off in the rhythm section. Wow. No, I mean, there are a lot of, uh, I guess some of the, you know, the best known band songs, you're, you're singing on them. Well, I'm, and, I'm uh, helping, uh, helping out, but yeah. uh, that's just because we ran short of vocalists. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I used to, uh, Years ago, I used to try and play the drums a lot, and one of the reasons I stopped is I like to sing, and I, I couldn't do it. And is that difficult? I don't think so. I think if you start out playing and then uh, sing in your head, uh, you know, then you start with some background vocals, and eventually, uh, you know, you take, take the lead every now and then. Right. Now, in, you, uh, uh, in the last waltz, it's, yeah. the, it's, the, it's the swan song for the band. Yeah. Uh, did you, when you watch that movie now, is that, is, was that a real sad time for you? Uh, no, it was a, actually a pretty good time. It was a good show. We had some great people uh, helping us put on the show, and uh, and I enjoyed it. After it was over, uh, it kind of caught up me and was, uh, you know, a little bit of cold water on myself. But uh, at the time, it was a lot of fun. Now, you guys had been together for so long. I don't know if people realize how, by the time you did the last waltz, you'd been together how long? Ah, uh, boy, I don't know, four or five years at least. Uh, a long time. Uh, we, <laughs> we finally uh, got a recording contract in about 68. Right. So we but you'd been playing together for a long time before that. Oh, yeah, that. we had been playing since 58. Right, right. So, so there was a real feeling like it's time to move on. It, I, that was it. Everybody had different uh, interests and uh, different opportunities, so it seemed like a good idea at right, the time. Right, Well, one of the things you moved on to was acting. I got and lucky, yeah. I heard you actually, you were working on a role and you shot yourself. <laughs> yeah, you... yeah, that's, uh, that's right. Uh, <laughs> it, it's funny, you know, when it's not you. Right. <laughs> I can laugh. Yeah. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, uh, uh, I had gotten a couple of movie roles and uh, they were good shows. Uh -huh. So the, the, the fringe benefit is that you get asked to do another one. And the word came down that Willie Nelson was going to do a Western. It was going to be a big shoot 'em up and that I was going to be in. And uh, the next thing I know, I had my quick draw holster on and I'm out in the woods. Uh, do you, and you use real bullets? Uh, that, was the, that was the boner. <laughs> uh, Don't do that. Yeah, I know. Use it. blanks next time. I will. <laughs> All right, well, listen, thanks, uh, thanks very much for coming on. This is a real treat. We're a step away. We'll be right back.